Hey Scorpio, my name is Crystal. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? If this doesn't resonate for you, check your other placements. They may um, match better for you, especially if the title resonates, okay? So we're going to find out what's coming in for you in love. You have happy, happy, and a message in a bottle. So I feel like you guys are about to be um, getting some type of message here. Okay, you got not for you. So there's something that's walking out of your life or something that isn't meant for you anymore. And I feel like you've walked away from that or you're leaving that behind. And I feel like this message in a bottle, okay, with this happy, happy card is there's a message coming in for you that you're going to be really happy about, okay? This person might be, re there might be a person reaching out to you. This could even be a job offer, but you have shattered, crushed, sadness, broken heart, panic attack. I feel like you guys have been suffering a lot. You guys have been feeling crushed, really sad, broken hearted, feeling like other people are always like hurting you. Um, you might be hurt by a situation that isn't not for you, okay? The, the situation that's not for you, I feel like you guys might be hurting because maybe you guys are going through a breakup, but just know there's something else coming in for you guys, okay? The end of this situation is bringing on something else. You have past. There is history. It happened. Left behind. Looking back. So this person that's coming back is somebody from the past. Okay. This could be a past life soulmate or this could be somebody from your origin, like in your life this now. Fix my camera. Okay. So I feel like you got escape. Avoiding, blocking, pushing, and hiding. This person could have been like hiding from you. Avoiding your phone calls. Avoiding your messages. This person could have blocked you. But I feel like this person, and this could have shattered you, okay? But I feel like um, this person's coming back. You have dating. Look, they want to come through, ask you on a date, okay? I feel like this person um, is wondering if you're dating. So what's your person's intentions for you? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, they're coming back around. This is something that's destined and meant to be. You got the Temperance card. The Empress and the Ace of Swords, your person sees you as beautiful. Your person thinks that they can create a future with you. They may even want kids with you with the Empress, or maybe you have kids with this person. It could be a Libra. It could be a Sagittarius energy that's coming in. Um, but I feel like with the Four of Cups, this is a thing that you thought you missed an opportunity with. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords, this person's coming through to speak up and say what it is that they got to say to you. I feel like they've taken their time. I feel like you've been patient too as well. But I feel like they've taken their time, they're healing, they're figuring out what it is that they need to do, and they ended something, okay? And you may have ended something, so now there's like this clear path for this person to come through. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. What are they going to say? What's this message in a bottle? The Queen of Wands. They find you very attractive, that you find you inspiring, they look up to you. This person puts you on a pedestal with all these high cards, all right? This person knows that you're somebody who's very intuitive, very honest, very... um caring nurturing loving very balanced and i feel like this person misses that with you okay maybe they chose somebody else and it wasn't for them or it could have been you you have the death card you could be dealing with another scorpio sagittarius libra but sagittarius energy is very strong here okay but it's like with the death card it's this person sees you as a changed person. They're not used to dealing with people that are like you, okay? And it's like, this is the reason why this person's coming back around because they feel so connected to you. They feel like it's something that's meant to be and they got to figure out how they can get it back, right? Um, they feel like it's meant to be, so they're going to try everything they can to try to come through and speak to you. Um, you, you with the Four of Cups, you may have this person blocked. If you really want this person to reach out, I feel, you know, I feel like you might want to unblock them. You have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, this person's looking for a long-term stable relationship, okay? This person wants to promise you a stable future. They want to give you the world. They want to spoil you. They want to take care of you. You have the moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces energy, but I feel like this person even sees you in their dreams. Even in their dreams, they're seeing you. It's like they travel to go see you. I feel like they feel like you could be trusted. You have the two of swords, though. Um, there might be, this person might be watching you secretively, and there is a choice here with the two of swords that somebody isn't going to want to make, and it might be you. It's like, maybe you don't trust this person, maybe you're not sure if you're going to allow this person into your life, but if you really do love this person or really want this person, I feel like you need to listen to what they got to tell you. I feel like with the Ace of Swords, they might be speaking some truths here. They might be admitting some type of secrets here. Maybe they are admitting why they've done what they've done. Um, but I do feel like this person's coming through. You have the Eight of Cups. They're already on their way. The Seven of Cups. It's like, like I'm feeling that you're very confused about this person. This person may have ghosted you or left you like in the dust, right? You have the Devil card. They could have some toxic habits here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces. 
I feel like this person, you might be confused as if this person has even fixed themselves, if this person is even going to give you what it is that you're looking for. So I feel like you're going to be a little bit conflicted when this person comes in, but it's like, I feel like you have so much love for this person. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision here. Okay, with the Ten of Swords, this person could have backstabbed you, betrayed you. Okay, but I do feel like somebody's going through an ending, and because this person's going through an ending, they're available now. So it's like I feel like this person's watching you, you know. Page of Pentacles in the Tower. Like I said, after some type of thing ended here, now there's a new opportunity to try things differently here, to try to reach out. This person wants to offer you a stable beginning. You have the Page of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. No cards going to fall out. You have the Eight of Swords. There's a lot of swords here. You guys might be dealing with the Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have the Page of Wands and the Chariot. This person's very inspired by you. This person looks up to you. This person feels like they never met anybody before like you. I feel like they're even jealous of whatever it is that you're going through. If you're talking to other people, they're definitely jealous. You got a Cancer too as well. So you might be dealing with a Cancer. But I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. But there is like a choice here. There's a lot of cards here telling me that there's a choice. Okay. Um, and it's because somebody is like doesn't trust the situation. So with the page of wands, this person wants a new opportunity to have a, there's one, there's two pages. First of all, they might be younger than you, but this person wants a new chance with you. Okay. They've been having a lot of thoughts about you. They've been having a lot of dreams about you. I feel like spirit won't let you get out of their mind. Kind of, it's like, you know, they're just, you got the hermit card. They're healing all the problems that they've had in the past. So when this person comes through, I feel like you should really listen to what it is that they got to say. Because I feel like it might be important for you. You have the Hierophant. They're learning a lot. I feel like they're getting a lot of wisdom. They can be a spiritual healer. They could be um, a tarot reader. They could be somebody who's like on a spiritual path. Somebody who's like a light worker. What I'm hearing in my head is light worker. So this person could be somebody who's like... <clears throat> really gone down a good path here, okay? And you may not trust it, but I feel like they're doing good. Okay, let's get some messages for you from your person. It took for me to lose you to see how important you were to me. Always running away. So somebody could have always been running away. It could have been your person. It could have been you. But it was like always like a runner chaser type thing here. So this could be a twin flame thing. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like every time there was like a chance it didn't happen. Or maybe that you guys just kept on pushing each other away. You have, do you realize we are connected through our souls? Um, then you have, will you see me the same? I fantasize about you. I told you they dream about you. I took you for granted. Your eyes are so beautiful. This person's coming through to commu communicate clearly to you. They miss your cooking. They miss your food. Um, you got, I was still learning. I wasn't ready. I never meant to hurt you. So I feel like your person, like it didn't, they didn't mean to do what they did, but I don't feel like they learned, they would have learned as much as they did if they didn't do the things that they did. Okay. So it's like everything happens for a reason, even if it hurts, but maybe this person need to lose you in order to find out that they really loved you. Okay. In order to feel like they couldn't live their life without you. Okay. They feel like it's meant to be. There was no other connection that they've been through that they felt this strong connection to. And I have goosebumps all over my legs at the moment. That's confirmation for me whenever I have that. Okay. So I feel like your person, you got the queen of pentacles. Like I said, I feel like this person feels like you'll be somebody who takes care of them. You'll be somebody who looks out for them. Um, this is another card about like cooking and hostessing, you know, and like taking care of other people. You have the star card, Aquarius energy, Capricorn as well. Capricorn strong and Sagittarius strong in this energy in this reading, <laughs> but you have the star card and the three of one. I feel like this person's waiting for a chance to come through because I feel like all they can think about is you. Um, I do feel like with the double card, they're trying to heal something at the moment, trying to walk away from something that isn't for them or isn't for you. One of you guys are leaving a relationship behind. I feel like the other person's single. Okay, so one is in a relationship, the other person's single, but the one that's in a relationship is going through a breakup at the moment. Okay, you have the chariot. See what I'm saying? Like... Let's find out. 
The Seven of Pentacles. This is something that has some history already to it, okay? This has something, there's already, it's like you you know this person already. Knight of Wands, it's been a back and forth thing with this person, okay? I'm going to pull some of these cards. My hair is like tickling my face. Main male wealthy man. This person might be somebody who's very important, look high honor. This person may be somebody who wears a suit or something like that, or somebody who's well respected, okay? Or you could be, but I feel like this person that's coming through has a lot to offer. Wealthy man, man, man blah, blah, blah. Wealthy man and main male. That's a very confusing thing to say like that fast. But anyway, this person that's coming through. As somebody that's very special to you, I feel like this is your main person, okay, the one that you want, the one that you've been waiting for, and I feel like when this person reaches out to you, it's going to make you very happy, okay, I do feel like you guys shared past lives together and a past in this lifetime together, okay, so let's see, what is this wealthy man part? The Eight of Swords, the Magician. I don't feel like you believe that your manifestations are working. Maybe you've done some magic here to bring this person in. Um, if you did, that could have been something that hindered the situation because sometimes trying to manipulate other people's energy sometimes kind of backfires a little bit. Okay, look, the Death Card. That kind of backfires a little bit. It kind of causes like even more problems, let me say. Anyway, I don't believe in that magic, magic stuff. You got the Seven of Swords. See what I'm saying? It kind of backfired. It didn't really work your way. But maybe you've kind of given this a rest, okay? And I feel like whatever this is, your manifestations, your hopes, your dreams is coming in, okay? The Knight of Cups, the angels are trying to bring this person into you. Maybe you didn't get this person before because you were too upset waiting for this person to come through the way that you wanted them to or come through at the time that you wanted them to. But I feel like maybe now you're kind of like putting things at rest. You're kind of letting it go. And because you're letting it go, the energy was able to like, you know, that separation was able to like get you guys to do the things that you guys need to do in order for you guys to work together. Look, the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Judgment card. It's time to make a decision here. You have the High Priestess too. This is about listening to your intuition. I do feel like the stagnancy is about to be over with and I do feel like this person's going to be reaching out and you're going to be very happy, okay? Um, I have other cards. We're going to pull messages of the heart. We're going to find out what they're emotionally going through too as well, okay? You got plotting, ancestral karma. Right now they're kind of clearing out some karma. That's why I said this stuff in the way. The devil energies was in the way. All right, but they're getting rid of that. Children may be a factor in this relationship, okay? It says children are affecting the connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good. Okay, so like I said, they might be with a karmic partner or something like that. Maybe they have kids with this karmic and it's like they're trying to take care of things before they can actually move forward. That way when they come to you, it's no drama, no extra drama involved in this relationship because I feel like this person, when they get you, they do not want to lose you again. You have choices. There is a choice they have to make. They know the time is not on our side and they risk losing you forever if they don't. Like I told you, I feel like this person is very impatient to come through. With the Knight of Cups, this could be fast energy. And you have plotting they're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know that you have plenty of other options they're very nervous about you finding somebody else before they can make it to you okay so i feel like the person is like very anxious to just like hurry up and 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 do the work that they got to do and get the shit together and make the decisions that they need so that way they can come through to you they feel a connection to you a very strong spiritual connection to you energetic connection to you it's like no matter what they do even if they, even if they try to like work to kind of forget their problems it's like no matter what they're always being reminded of you there's always a song that comes on there's always maybe somebody saying your name or maybe there's some type of smells that goes on but it's like they're always being reminded of you and so i feel like you know they're coming back they're going to look the knight of pentacles they're on a mission it might have been something that you waited a very long time for but i don't feel like you guys are going to be waiting much longer okay i feel like this person or you are ending something that you guys are going through like i said before and because you guys are doing that it's clearing up a path for this person to be able to come through all right so that's what i got for you guys if you guys like my content please like and subscribe hope you guys have a good day toodles